Hi, I'm Matthew Hoggard and today I will show you some skills about being a fast bowler. Let's start with a few basics. Let's start with your grip. For a seam bowler, you'd like the seam to go down as straight as possible. So place both fingers either side of the seam with your thumb either on the seam or just to the right of the seam, whichever is most comfortable. That way when you let go of the ball, both fingers should impart equal pressure on the ball so the seam goes down straight. Now that we've looked at the grip, let's have a look at our run-up. I mark my run-up out from the back line. My left heel goes on the back of the line and normally I give myself an extra an inch just so that I've got an extra inch to play with my front foot. And then I've done 19 normal strides and that's my run-up. So here we go. 1, 2, 3, 17, 18, 19. Now, I map my run-up out with strides. I make sure that the normal strides and that I'm not overstretching. But a lot of my teammates use tape measures, so you get it spot on every time. Now, as we've already measured out, this is my mark, 19 paces from the wicket. I will walk back a further two paces and walk into my run-up, making sure that my right foot hits my mark. This is essential because I don't sit off from the same place every time you won't hit this crease at the right spot every time. So I'll walk in one, two, my right foot's hitting my mark. I'll be building up slowly. I'll be gaining momentum until I'm about 10 yards from the crease. My speed from here onto the wickets will not change. I'll be at full pace and then I'll just gather myself, get myself balanced, ready for the delivery. Now that we've got through the grip and our run-up, let's talk about lines and lengths. Now, an ideal line and length for a batter is trying to get him forward, making the ball pass over off stump. So for me, that will be round about here. Now, as a, another famous Yorkshireman used to describe the corridor of uncertainty, that is the way you want to place the ball. If you can ask the batsman, should he go forward or back, should he play it or leave it, or should he defend it or hit it? That's six questions in the space of one ball. And the more questions you can ask and more frequently you can ask them, the more chance he's got of making a mistake. Catch it! The most simple way of explaining is if you can get the ball to hit on or around off stump, that is the length you need to bowl. Now, for Steve Harmison, one of my teammates, he's a little bit taller than me and he's a little bit quicker, and his tactics are going to change, so he'll be of a shorter length. I'm a swing bowler so my length is fuller trying to make the batsman play on the front foot. Simon Jones will be in between us as he's a little bit more skidder than me but not as tall as Stevens. That's all from me. Hopefully I've given you a few tips to help you with your bowling. Now all you've got to do is get outside and practice. Bye bye.